Here we have a very nice looking 2009 Mini Cooper S convertible in midnight black with the beige leather interior. It's a nice looking car as you'll see throughout the video. Starts with the offside front tyre, not a great deal amount of there, we're looking at around 2 two millimeters of tread there at the most. A lot of wearing though to the outer edge, you can see that is very bold on the outer edge. That probably will need changing because of how bold it is on the outer edge there, so be aware of that. Um, offside front alloy, you can see they are very heavily curbed around the outside of the alloy. They've got the 18 inch um, sort of web spoke alloys, so they're very nice, that is an option to the vehicle, but they will require a refurb to that outer edge. Take a look down the offside of the vehicle, um, there is like three small dinks in the, uh, the driver's door, no signs of any dents at all. Arches look fine, uh, one or two light scratches, being a dark colour car it's going to show everything under the sun. You've got the nice chrome um, mirrors there. Driver's door itself, like I said, one or two light scratches that just require polish. Below the driver's door along the plastics is all fine there. One or two very minor nicks in your door edge just require some touchings. Uh, just showing you these small dinks, so you've got one there. Slightly larger one there as well. And just trying to find that other one, there you go, as you can see. So three very small dinks. Um, moving towards the rear arch, again nice condition, just one or two light scratches you can see there. Rear tyre, again not a lot of tread at all really, you can get around two, two and a half mil. But again, getting quite bold there on the outer edge. Um, offside rear alloy, it is a bit le uh, better than the front. There is some curb marks over to the exterior or at the outer edge of the alloy, as you can see to this side here. So again, potentially could do with refurb. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got reversing, um, not reversing, sorry, parking sensors there on the back of the vehicle. You've got some light scratches on the rear bumper, so again, a good polish required. Some light scratches along the tailgate. As you can see, it's had a bit of a brush up there, some uh, scratches. Again, they're not too heavy, so you should polish out. Again, no sign of any real damage at all to the rear bumper. So again, just some light scratches, nothing serious. Take a look and that the boot just requires a good valet, but nothing wrong in there. The material for the roof's in good condition, I've had a good look over that. Uh, look at the rear tyre, again, you can see very bold there on the outer edge, so again, probably going to need changing to be honest. Um, rear alloy on the near side, heavy kerb, and you can see it's paled some of the paint off there quite badly. So again, some quite heavy kerbs there to the outer edge of the alloy, so again, going to require a refurb. Looking on the near side of the vehicle, you've got a small dent, you can probably see that um, next to the door handle there, it's quite a good size. Apart from that, there's just one or two light dinks on the front passenger door. Again, some light scratches. Now, as you can see, that's quite a good sized dent. Um, it's a quite heavy as well, so do be aware of that. Um, door edge looks fine. Front passenger door looks pretty clean, to be said. Mirror is fine as well, and again, just one or two small dinks on the front door there. Again, one or two light scratches on the front. As you can see, though, that tyre, very bold indeed, so it's probably... Uh, to be safe, or to be on the safe side, going to require four new tyres, um, so be aware of that. Some stone chips to the front of the vehicle, so definitely some touchings required. Some stone chips to the front bumper, no sign of any damage at all to the front bumper itself though. So again, just a couple of stone chips, which you'd expect really from a car of its age. Now, having a look at inside the vehicle. Full beige leather interior. Um, driver's seat looks very well, bolsters look fine, again slight bit of dirt as you can see, uh, again that's just age related, uh, the jeans, the income stuff comes off the jeans, again just age related really, no sign of any damage though. Back of the seats are once again a little bit dirty, no sign of any damage at all, as you can see nice condition, you've got all your booklets there etc. Back of the seats aren't too bad either. As you can see there, so nice condition inside really. You've got the nice piano black trim inside which is an option. Again, front passenger seat in nice condition. So it does look quite well inside, steering wheel's not in bad condition either. You've got auto headlights etc. Step inside, we've got two sets of keys. Again it is a push start so we'll just get the car started up. No problem at all starting the vehicle, you can see we have got a service light popping up there, so beware of the service light. And also got a warning light there as well, so beware of that. 55,243 miles on the clock. 
Again, you've got your CD and radio and everything down here. As you can see, no problem at all with the sound. That works perfectly fine, no issues at all there. It all looks and works exactly how it should. There's no problem at all with any of the blowers. They all work fine. Again, air conditioning works great as well. So you can see light indicating there it's on and off. You've also got heated seats on the vehicle. Light indicating there that they're on and off and they do work fine as well. It is a manual transmission of course. But again, it all looks and works fine. So you've got the exterior mirror pack. Um, the 17 inch alloy, sorry, I did say 18. Visibility pack, um, interior piano black trim. It's got the hi-fi system, sports seats, heated seats, the chili pack, Bluetooth, and the, um, the openometer, meter which you can see there as well. So plenty of features on the vehicle, which is nice. Taking a look at the paperwork, looking at the V5, the cars had two owners. It does have an MO2, which is great. September 9th, 2014 though, so it will require an MOT very soon so we'll need an MOT very soon um, in the next couple of days or so um, a full franchise service history though guys which is spot on so you can see all done here at Rybrook Shrewsbury you've got 7, 30, 34 and last one there at 51,000 miles and you can see not that long ago serviced either which is spot on there we have it guys that is the 2009 Mini Cooper S convertible in midnight black there is a bit of cosmetic damage on the outside probably require four new tyres, bit of a refurb on the alloys, inside's nice though and it's got bags of options on the vehicle as well. For its age, it's not a bad looking car.